Okay, friends, we are nearing the end of May. Um, I know motivation can sometimes be a little tricky at this point, but keep sticking with it, right? I'm hearing from some of you that you're, you're feeling strong and ready to get back to the gym, and <laughs> I'm feeling the exact same thing. I'm really hopeful we'll be in there by the middle of June, so that's exciting. All right, well, let's get started on today's work. We're back in the, the gym, home gym here in Portland. Uh, so the warm up today, we're gonna start with two minutes of jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope, you can do lateral hops. Next, you got 20 reverse lunges to a knee raise and we'll go 10 each side there. Then you've got three walkouts to two push-ups into six bootstrappers. 20 hollow rocks, and then six thread the needle, three each side. So let me show you what those look like. Jump rope, right, or line hops. Next, you got 20 reverse lunges. So if I step back with my right, then I'm gonna raise that knee up. I'm gonna go 10 on my right, and then I'm gonna switch 10 on my left. Next, you got three walkouts to two push-ups. Hang it down, nice stretch to the back of the legs. Walk it out. Two push-ups, walk it back up. You got three of those. Next, you have six bootstrappers. Feet set at squat stance, grab your toes, drop those hips, arms inside your legs, push those knees out, proud chest, and raise those hips up again. You got six of those. Good, once you're done with those, you've got 20 hollow rocks. Low back is engaged to the ground. Reach those arms, reach those legs. Small little rock. You got 20 of those. And then you're gonna finish it up with six thread the needle. So you're gonna be in a tabletop position. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. We you start on the right side, open it up. Thread the needle underneath. Shoulder comes to the ground. You can reach that opposite hand out long. Try to stack those shoulders and then rewind it back up. Alternate to the other side. On to the wad. So the wad today is three five minute AMRAPs and each AMRAP is gonna begin with 100 double unders. Um, if you don't have a jump rope, you can do 100 line hops. So each round will start with that. Once you get done with that, you're gonna cycle between two movements as many times as you can within that five minute window. Uh, the first one is gonna be six lateral dumbbell burpees, and then you have 12 dumbbell front squats. So you'll cycle between those two movements as many times as you can within that five minute window. And then you'll have a full five minute rest. And then on to the next one, again, starting with 100 double unders, and then you got six lateral burpees with nine dumbbell thrusters back and forth between those two movements. Another five minute rest and then our final AMRAP five. Again, 100 double unders and then back and forth between six uh, dumbbell burpees, lateral dumbbell burpees, and then six dumbbell clusters, which you remember is a squat clean thruster. And then you'll be done. So let me demonstrate what those will look like. With the dumbbell burpee, dumbbells are on the ground, come into a burpee, two foot jump, that's one, that's two, so you got six of those. Next you're on to 12 front squats for that first five minutes, full squat to stand, right? Elbows are going to stay nice and high. Once you're done with 12 of those, you're back to those six dumbbell burpees for the next five minute window. This time you have dumbbell thrusters. So still that same front squat. And then you're gonna press overhead, biceps by the ears there at the top. Full squat to overhead. And then once you know with that five minute window, again, five minutes rest, back to 100 double unders. And then you got six lateral burpees and finally six clusters. So starting that clean, you're gonna tap, Come all the way up to a squat, overhead. Keep track of how many rounds and extra reps you get, and that will be your score at the end. 
for today's final segment, we got a little extra strength work. We're going to go through this three times. You have four movements, and each movement is going to be 30 seconds, um, just max reps. So the first movement is a double dumbbell row. Second movement is a hollow rock, which I demonstrated in the warm up. Third, you have a double dumbbell Romanian deadlift. And if you have a kettlebell, you could certainly do these with a kettlebell. And then finally, you have 30 seconds of push ups. And once you get through those four movements, two minutes of work, you'll have a minute rest before you begin the next round. Okay? Double dumbbell rows. I'm gonna get a nice hinge, nice flat back, and then driving those elbows back, squeeze those shoulder blades together in front. Then you got 30 seconds hollow rocks. Just show those in the warm up. Next, you have Romanian deadlifts. So I'm going to keep my hips nice and high, nice flat back. I'm going to tap those bells and come back up to stand. Trying to keep those hips nice and high. Slight bend in the knee, right? You could also from the front here. I could also go in between. Widen my stance a little bit. This is more like a sumo deadlift. And then finally, you've got 30 seconds of push-ups. Got a couple options there, right? I could go from my toes. I could also go from my toes down and then drop to my knees to come back up. Or I could stay on my knees the whole time, still chest to ground as many times as you can in 30 seconds. And then you'll have a full minute rest before the next round begins. All right, friends, have fun with it. And if you want to come see me during class to do this workout, it's at 10 a.m. on Saturday. Bye.